Hey there, my name is Talios, and welcome to the second episode of Breaking Fire Emblem Engage. This is a series where I'm pretty much making stupid, fun, overpowered, just any of the sort, in-game builds with maxed out, well, mostly maxed out characters, in hard mode, just for skirmishes, or anyone interested in just changing character builds or just experimenting with stuff. Um, that's pretty much what this is all about. This is not an optimal guide, this is not a maddening or... Um, special hard mode guide on how to build a character or how to run them. This is just a fun, kind of entertaining guide, I guess you could say, about just having fun with the character and the game itself. So, in this episode, we are going over Chloe. Chloe is an interesting character and one of my favorites in the game just for how good she is. People have different opinions, different, I can't speak, different opinions, let me just go with that, on Chloe. <laughs> you get her pretty early on and she's kind of weird some people say she's not great some people say she's amazing and carries them i guess this is kind of how they get the levels right how lucky they are with leveling um i for one was lucky and she carried me through like half the game and was absolutely ridiculously overpowered never died and just melted everything in existence so getting into chloe there are two builds that i run with chloe one for a story playthrough kind of composition and a soloing skirmish composition kind of uh build so the team building one doesn't uh, worry about flame lance and silver lance it just goes straight brawniac you do lose two speed but you can also put on the i don't know how much it affects because i usually don't use pair up in a team because it's not that necessary so i would swap this usually with like build plus four if i want the two extra speed usually it's not that big of a difference so i would use like alacrity maybe but again it's not that big of a deal you can kind of put whatever here and then obviously if you want the extra avoid you can throw plus 30 avoid um, one thing to be wary of, because I was told this, I don't know how true this is, but if you're maxed out in a void, right, and you're on a team setup with a full team, not solo, they will always avoid your character and go for the other teammates, despite the fact that you're standing right in front of them. It's kind of how a void works, supposedly, but I've never experienced, uh, not experienced it, but practiced it, you know, tried it out to really tell if that is the case or not so i can't really confirm that theory or uh statement but that's just something to be wary of so i'm uh, moving on though the solo build is just getting rid of Bri uh, Bri brian Ax. sorry i said that wrong the first time and putting on silver lance plus five flame lance plus five or whatever lances you want to put on and then i also have erica on because i like the extra damage the healing if i need it which i don't usually and i just you can kind of throw on whatever and um emblem you want i just like erica with chloe for survivability normally without the, all the evade and stuff in a normal playthrough but you could throw in whatever you want i just personally prefer erica um and yeah that's pretty much it you obviously want pair up for solo build at least you want pair up avoid plus 30 guaranteed i usually go for over 165 avoid if i can because there's a lot of enemies especially at the max level skirmishes that have like 195 hit and have like a 30 percent chance to hit you at like 155 avoid so I try to get as much avoid as I can, and with weapons, you can kind of change up what you want for emblems. I usually just go for a basic avoid and crit, because she does have good dexterity. Obviously, as you can see, it's maxed out with her speed, um, with Erica as well. And it's just it's just really nice to have just a little bit of avoid, a little bit of crit, because you don't need too much avoid if you're already dodging everything. So you don't need to put the plus 40 avoid thing out if you don't need to. So yeah, that's pretty much just a quick and easy guide. For what um what this build's going to be about if you have any questions about um, me wanting to go over for example character growths um how a void set is calculated or just any little thing you want me to mention just please let me know in the comments and i will try to go over it as much as i can in the future episodes and yeah so that's pretty much it and i'm about to go and show you a solo skirmish with just the character and yeah enjoy so one thing i was um asked about in the previous video was that a lot of people like seeing the whole build take effect so instead of skipping it i would like i just sped it up a little bit in the game i skipped animations so you'll still see it all go on i just won't be skipping the entire turn just so you can see how it looks like when it's when it's playing it's not me splicing the runs to make it look viable and then it's not at all when you try it so i'm trying to be as genuine as possible when you see this this is a whole fresh run first try and see how how it goes pretty much i don't think i'm gonna get touched but we'll see let's see what happens I'm listening.
and that's that yep that was pretty much the entire thing which was a little bit shorter but that's okay um one thing i did do is i didn't i usually when i'm doing this i would just keep the silver lance on and just skip the turns so i had the max of void but i didn't want it it would have taken way longer if i did that because of the armored knights so i kind of swapped around with the different weapons but i hope that you, i think you all understand that but yeah thank you all for watching this and hope you enjoyed the build and see you next time peace out